Can you tell us a little bit about yourself? I'm Tatiana Yurohimova. I teach physics at Texas A&M University. Okay. And you know what? I love bringing our fun physics demonstrations to places where people already are. So that's perfect. Thank you for inviting me. Well, thank you for being here. <laughs> what are we gonna do today? Okay. Are you ready? I, I ain't got no this choice. This is our first yes, demonstration. Yes. I love it. Okay. So this is called potato physics. And I love it because everyone can do it at home. So all you need, you take a potato. <laughs> and the kitchen knife, that's okay. It's a kitchen knife. We are not in trouble. Let's do it. Okay, I'm grabbing it. Yes. So we insert the tip of this knife into potato. Okay. You can do that. All a little the way. bit more. Yeah, more. no, no, Ooh. no, no. That's perfect. That's, Th perfect. that's perfect. You're doing great. Okay. So you see, it's it's kind of barely holding it. Yes. Now, do you have mallet? Yes, you do. So you need to take mallet. I'm gonna hold it up like this. Yes, you're holding it like that. And what will be will what will we do next? <laughs> we will hit <laughs> this handle. What will happen? Okay, so the potato will drop, here is the table, and everyone will be happy. Okay. Let's do it. Together? Let's go. All right. We hit it! <laughs> Ain't nothing happened, Tatiana. <gasps> Look at this! Oh, it's going up! It's going up! I ain't thought about enough. It's absolutely no, what, intuitive. Why? Why is it What's doing What's happening? That? This is a large, heavy potato. It's inertial. It doesn't have time to move every time when we hit the handle. Uh -huh. So the knife goes through the potato. You see? Yeah. It's demonstration on inertia and everyone can do it at home. Now, before you do that, we need to know how to get rid of this potato yes. without injuring your fingers, right? Never ever touch the blade with your fingers when you try to get rid of this potato. Do this. And we are safe, we did it! Almost, almost. Yeah, let's, let's just hold it like this. Hold it up. And do it, do it. Yay, we did it! <laughs> we did it! We did it! Ready for the next yeah, one? Yeah, I, I have no idea what's gonna happen here. You, you need to help me. I have to help you? Okay. Yes, look at this. It's just a bike wheel, but with really good bearings. Okay, bicycle wheel uh -huh. on this axle. And there is a rope. And now I will hold the rope. And I will let it go. Ah! It falls. You don't look impressed at all. No. Why? That's what we expect. Because there is gravity. Boring. What will we do next? Now I want you to hold it. Oh. Can you do that? Yes, I can. Just hold it. Wait, am I holding the rope or the side? Yes. Can I put my hand it's on your hand? Is that okay? Yes. I'm spinning it. Let's do it. Uh-huh. Ah! <laughs> now you give it to me. You give it to me. Thank you so much. Same rope. I let it go. What will happen? Ah! It stays! Look at this! <laughs> it is spinning! And it also goes round and round and round. This motion is called precession. It is precessing and spinning. It, it's like gyroscope now. Want to feel it? We're, we're part of my show. Let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. It's okay. your show. Yes. Do it. No, so. this show show right now, baby. Hold the line. Hold it. Here's how did, how did you get into science? Well, I was not one of those girls who were staring at stars and became a scientist. No, my parents were physicists, my role mm. models. So I got my physics degree. Wow. But I didn't teach. So when I came to Texas and m I didn't have, oh, you're holding it. I feel yeah, it's bad. heavy too. It's heavy. Uh -huh. <laughs> so I didn't have any teaching experience and I didn't know how much I would enjoy teaching. But then opportunity knocked on my door. I was offering to teach. You know, now I cannot imagine my life without teaching. Just walking into my class. You're and amazing. Teaching my class. Show us this. Let's do this. What's happening? This Here. one we will do together. We have dry ice. What is dry ice? solid carbon dioxide, right? So dry ice evaporates. It's a great example of sublimation. Goes from solid to gas. Now, when you work with dry ice, you need to put a glove on, please. This glove on. Because it's cold, it's cold. It's a, I don't like being cold. It's, it's <laughs> fun. No, you cannot do that because Should I put both yourself. of them on? You can put both. I like you, the you following instructions. They're very elegant, so. 
Just, just your size. Perfect. <laughs> now, we take this dry ice. My clothes, maybe two. And big. we will put it several pieces. We will put it into this cup. Now let's add water. We will add a little bit of water mm -hmm. to create a small cloud. So far, small cloud. Okay, let's do it. Small cloud. I add. Oh, you see? It's a yes. cloud. Want to do it or you want me to do it? You let, go let ahead. Let me do that. <laughs> now, fun part comes. You can buy dry ice in the supermarket, so this demonstration also, everyone can do it at home. Yeah. So, you don't need gloves I anymore. I can take the gloves off. Yes, please. Okay. Take them off. Removing gloves. You hold this paper towel, and I will hold the paper towel. And now we will soak this paper towel in the bubble solution. No tricks. This is just regular bubble solution. Watch. Bubbles. All is fun. Okay. So we will soak this paper towel in bubble solution. Mm -hmm. And then we will slide it over. <gasps> oh, that's fun. Look at this bubble. My bubble. Wow. Do it. Do it. Okay. Do it. Just okay. soak I'll, it. I won't. Now that I want to do. <laughs> Okay, wait, is that enough? Yeah, that's enough. Okay. That's okay. You cannot go wrong. Now, I ain't no you, but I'm sure going to try. <laughs> so you, you slide it. Slide Let's it on. Slide. <gasps> yes. Yours even better. Look at this. It's a big bubble. Look at that. Show us what this last moment is about. Let's go big. We going big? You like to go big at Texas a &M. Let's go big. All right. You like clouds? Yes. Everyone loves clouds. So. Let's make a big cloud. Yeah. A big cloud? How can we do that? I have boiling water here, hot water. Hot so water. let me put hot water in this pot. Oh, oh boiling water. <laughs> boiling water, hot water. It's kettles. Nothing dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> but now. What will we do next? Oh, oh. Now you need to put this on. I'll take And those. I will Thank tell you. you why. Yes, yes. So what I have here is liquid nitrogen. Are you breathing there? Still breathing? Yeah? What do you breathe, people? What? Air! And air is mostly nitrogen. What I have in this flask is liquid nitrogen. It's basically liquefied air. And you know what? It is at crazy cold temperature. It is 400 Fahrenheit colder than temperature of your skin. That's why we put this on. And are you ready? Yes. A little bit further, you, a little you, bit you further. You say, Sam, I follow instructions, yes, ma'am. OK. Cheer us up. Let's go. All together. Three, two, one. temperature. So what we made is a real cloud. And now look at this. It goes down, down, because it is colder and denser than air. Big cloud on Jennifer Hudson's show. Yes! Thank you, Tatiana. You're incredible. Thank you for being here. We appreciate it. Give her a hand, y'all.